Hello and welcome to another Not Chili Review. On today's footpath, we have Dear Esther, which is a story-driven experience kind of game. Developed by the Chinese room on the Source Engine, Dear Esther takes you on a story full of mystery and metaphor. It might have been the way I played it, but I found that the story wasn't written in a way to be obvious, but rather very subtle, like watching a flower grow and then trying to figure out why it did. That being said, it is a beautiful game, which has a very well presented gameplay visual style with a matching musical score. The premise is that you are wandering through a landscape and observing, and as you discover elements of the game, you are told a part of a story. Though you never really interact with the game and exist more as an observer, the game does take you on a captivating journey of what seems like a short story. With the exception of the water, the game plays really well, though very slow, which can be a little frustrating when you go in one direction and then have to turn around. But after completing Dear Esther, I felt like I should have explored a little more. Not being sure if that would have revealed any more of the story. What I will say is the game felt like Half-Life The Lost Coast, with a lot less interaction and a lot more story. And I guess I did enjoy Lost Coast, but I would have felt bad if it had a $10 price tag like Dear Esther has. I did get it with a humble bundle though, and so I didn't feel the strain on my wallet, but I couldn't see myself spending more than a few dollars on this game. There is, however, the original mod of this game from the Half-Life engine, which you can actually download for free and play on Windows. I think get it if it's on some kind of a sale. But know that this is not an action game. This game offers an experience and a story that doesn't leave you on the edge of your seat, but instead feels like a dream in a strange place. That's me signing off. I hope you enjoyed the review. Feel free to like and subscribe and leave a comment if you have anything to say about this particular game. Uh, and thank you very much for listening.